She was a trailblazer, a record breaker, and a style icon. But 35 years after her rise to fame, Florence Griffith Joyner's exceptional speed remains shrouded in mystery. Many experts and track fans still believe that the 100-meter world record she set has been significantly wind-aided. This belief is even reinforced by Track and Field News, a well-respected magazine and one of the leading sources of information in the athletics community. Track and Field News believes the 1049 was illegally wind-aided and should never have been accepted as the world record. However, a critical evaluation of information, based on evidence and reliable sources, can help us dispel this myth. A 360-degree wind gauge that was used at the 1988 Olympic trials measured the speed and the direction of the wind from all angles. The wind gauge, supplied by Swiss Timing, was thoroughly checked and found to be in optimal working condition, accurately registering all data. According to Peter Hertzler, the spokesman for the company, the wind gauge recorded a wind of 2.8 meters per second at a 91-degree angle to the track, indicating it was a crosswind. Hence, the tailwind reading was zero, as obviously, wind cannot blow in two different directions simultaneously. This is confirmed by the video. The direction of Flo Joe's hair swing is consistent with the direction recorded by the wind gauge. Additionally, the direction of a spectator's hair movement in the stands also aligns with the wind measurements, providing further support for the accuracy of Swiss timing. Furthermore, the world record was ratified only after the IAAF completed their strict procedures, including collecting all registered data, verifying the printed results, and confirming the accuracy of the photo finish. Although there was no reason to doubt the legitimacy of the record, many people still refused to accept it because it was so extraordinary and beyond their perception of what was possible. In 1995, Nicholas Linthorne, a PhD from Australia, conducted a statistical analysis of several major championships, concluding that Florence Griffith Joyner's time was excessively wind-aided. However, his analysis overemphasizes the impact of tailwind on running times, disregarding the fact that the outcome of a race can be affected by many, many factors, with tailwind being the least significant. As witnessed in the 100-meter final at the 1988 Olympics in Seoul, where the illegal tailwind was 3 meters per second, it is worth noting that a wind assistance of this magnitude in an Olympic final is a rare occurrence, happening only twice in the last 100 years. Additionally, an Olympic final is the most prestigious event in an athlete's career, so they are supposed to be at their absolute peak. Despite this, six out of the eight finalists, including Flo Jo, ran slower than their earlier times in the season, under legal wind conditions. If you still think a tailwind makes any difference, consider this. The top 1,000 athletes in history have an average personal record of 11.16 seconds, and the average time for the top 1,000 marks recorded by individual athletes with wind above allowable limit is still 11.16 seconds. This solid evidence irrefutably demonstrates that a tailwind has minimal impact on one 100 meter performance. So the question is settled. Florence Griffith Joyner remains the fastest woman of all time, regardless of whether one believes she was aided by wind or not.